Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Larman FJ. We're gonna take a quick look at a case for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. And this case is made by Tamden. It's got a built-in screen protector, full body, heavyweight shockproof case support. Wireless charging is available. Let's go ahead and check this out and see what it's all about. Now you can get this case from Amazon. It's the uh, Tamden for Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra case with built-in screen protector, full body, heavy duty shockproof case, support wireless charging for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. This is the black version and they got seven colors. You got a black, you got a, a, a blue version, you have a pink version, that might look like a rose gold, you have a purple and you have a teal, you have a white and you got a white and black. That might look pretty good. I didn't recognize they had that one. That probably looks pretty good with the insert there. All right, but we're gonna take a look at the black one and see what it's all about. Hopefully the fingerprint reader works with the screen protector, but we'll see. All right, I'll put the link in the description for it if you wanna get it. Now here's the box that comes in, phone case, innovative military standard rock protection, dirt proof, shock proof, and scratch resistant. All right, um, and nothing much else on the box. We're gonna go ahead and take this out and see what it's all about. Let's get this out of the box. All right, so it's wrapped in a little bit of plastic there. Peel that off. Uh, got some instruction here, installation instruction. I don't think I need that. And you have um, some wipes to wipe off your screen in here. You got a screen built-in screen protector there. So I kind of covered in a little bit of plastic. Let me get this off. Now I'll take, now this little gap right here is where you take it apart right there. You just stick your fingernail in there and you pull that apart, pull it around the edges to get this off. All right, so these are the wipes to wipe the glass before you put the uh, screen protector on. And this has a screen protector on the outside, I think, or maybe on the inside too. Let's peel this off. And so they got a little, oh, so this time what they did was they put a hole there, you can see that, you have a hole there for this for the fingerprint sensor because last time it was all covered and it didn't work so that's how they remedy that i'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing i mean it does give you more protection but you have this opening here so you can get dirt and stuff in there over time i'm sure uh so uh but that's uh i guess that's one way to fix that all right now we're going to get the device and put it inside and see what it looks like okay uh here's the note 20 ultra in the case we're going to go ahead and pick it up and uh, put it inside the case. Now what I'll do is I'll put this on first, put this on the front and get that seated there. And that seats pretty well. So it's nice and tight on there and you got your spot for the fingerprint sensor. We'll check that to make sure that's aligned correctly. Then we'll go ahead and push this inside the case and make sure we get the rubber silicone around the edges there. As you can see that right there just need to be covered around the edge to get it secure on there. And amazingly, this doesn't feel too bulky for a 360 degree case. Now you do have a little opening there for the, for the fingerprint, but it's still giving you some good protection. I'm having some difficulty getting the rest of this on. Let me just finish that up. All right, so I got everything on the case, um, on the device. So it fits well. Uh, the camera is well protected. Um, the back of the screen is just it's a little raised area around here where you have like some feet so that's raised up so the back won't get scratched and of course you have a lip up front but that really doesn't matter because you have the screen protector now I'm not sure I like the hole right there because it's very visible uh, and you feel that when you're rubbing against it but the screen protector is pretty responsive uh, we'll check the S Pen out in a minute as well to see how that writes but uh, the, the one thing and I don't now I don't use these regularly but if you're looking for some protection 360 degrees, this might be good for you. It's light, it's not heavy, and it doesn't take up too much space, not too bulky. And, um, you know, it's, it's a good case for, for protection. Um, everything lines up. You see the, the S Pen right there. You can get to that, plenty of room for that. Uh, you got the speaker and you got the, char you got the charging port right here that's covered up. And you got your mic hole there, mic hole up top, and you got your power button by down rocker right there and those work well no problem uh, so it's it's a good case um, and I think it's it'll be worth your money if you if this is what you're looking for that 
360 degree protection, that military standard drop. You got good cushions on the corner and all that stuff. All right, so, so good case. Now we'll check out uh, the S Pen to see how that works. Now the S Pen is pretty responsive. Uh, so everything worked there, you know, you go back. So uh, you're not having any problem writing or anything. So that works pretty well. Um, you, you feel some resistance, but it's not not bad. Uh, it's definitely different than writing on the bare screen. So you're going to notice that, but you can still write on this, okay? Now let's check out wireless charge, see how that goes. All right, so wireless charging work, no problem. So it works right there. It's pretty good. Okay, so that was a quick look at the Tamden case for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. It's a 360 degree case with built-in screen protector. Great, great protection for you. Lightweight, not too bulky, but you get that full protection. Uh, the only thing I would ding it for is the fact that it has that hole in the screen protector. So it's not really truly 360 degrees because something can get in there. Uh, but it was a solution to a problem that they had earlier with the S20 Ultra. Um, but it works. Um, and I still think the case is a is a viable solution for some folks. All right, uh, but I'm not sure I would that would annoy. I think that would annoy me having that hole opening there and rubbing against it when I'm rubbing against the screen. All right. Now, if you got any questions, hit me up in the comments. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for videos like this. This is Lawman FJ. Out.